Greetings! Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to use Microsoft Fabric step by step, even if you are a complete beginner. In my last video, I explained how to create a Microsoft Fabric free account. Please watch it for better understanding of this video. Once you have just signed up for Fabric and you are wondering what to do next, you are in the right place. I will explain everything in simple language and give you real-time examples that relate to your daily work. Ok, let's start without wasting the time. Once you log in to Microsoft Fabric using app.fabricmicrosoft.com, this is your home screen. On the left panel, you will see options like Home, Workspaces, Create, One Lake, Monitor, Real Time, Workloads, and My Workspace. In Down, you have option to switch between Microsoft Fabric and Power BI. Then on the top right, you will find your help and support. You can use this to connect with Microsoft Fabric support team. Next, download option. To download Power BI Desktop, Data Gateway and One Lake File Explorer. Then close this. Next you have account settings and notifications. Here you will have the options for go to general and you will find the general settings. Next notification settings, item settings and you can also do developer settings here. Go to home and you will find notifications related to your account. Now. Think of it this way. The home page is like the reception area. Workspaces are like departments in a company. And inside of each workspace, you will find different tools like Lakehouse, Pipelines and Power BI. This layout helps you organize and manage your entire data journey in one place. Now, Let's talk about workspaces. Think of your workspace as a folder or project where you and your team work on a specific business use case. Example, you are working for a retail chain. You can create a workspace called sales performance where you upload your raw sales data, then clean and transform the data. Also, using the data, you can build reports to track product performance. Each workspace can have multiple people and you can set who can edit or view content in this workspace. Next, click the create button. Here's you will see multiple options. You will see tools like Lakehouse, Data Warehouse, Notebook, Pipeline, Dataflow Gen2 and also you will find Power BI Report. Let's quickly break down what each of these does with real-time examples. Let me start with Lakehouse. The Lakehouse is where you store raw files and data sets, just like a digital warehouse. For example, you are collecting daily sales data in Excel or CSV format, then you upload these files into a Lakehouse. Now they are stored securely and ready for processing. Next one is Warehouse. A warehouse is great for structured data and SQL querying. For example, after you clean that sales data, 
push it to the warehouse to run fast SQL queries like if you want to find what are the top 10 products sold last month. Next one is Notebook. Notebooks are useful to write code using PySpark, Python or SQL. Example, if you want to filter only the last three months of data, then you can write a small PySpark script in your notebook and that data will filter and ready for reporting. Next one is Pipeline. Pipelines are used to automate your workflows. For example, you want your data to load every night at 2 am. Pipeline does this by connecting to the data source, cleans the data, then stores it in a warehouse and even refreshes your dashboard. It is kind of smart and no ants needed solution. If you are having struggle to write any code, then you can use Dataflow Gen2 for drag and drop data cleaning, like you are using Power Query in Excel. Example, if you have any inconsistent product names, then Dataflow helps you clean and unify them with a few clicks. Next, the final one is Power BI. This is where you build visual dashboards. For example, you can create a report showing multiple sales or region-wise performance and you can show top performing products. All these you can using the clean data from your warehouse. Each tool is categorized like data engineering, data factory, data science, data warehouse, databases, industry solutions, real-time intelligence and Power BI. Let's tie it all together with a real-world use case. Imagine you work for a logistics company like Zomato or Swiggy. You will receive raw or delivery data daily. You need to upload it to Lakehouse first. Then use your notebook to filter and clean that data. Then that clean data you can store it in warehouse. Then using that clean data you can build a Power BI dashboard that shows delivery times, failed deliveries and city wise trends. Then you can automate this complete process using a pipeline. So this entire workflow from raw data to insights happens within Microsoft Fabric. You don't need to choose any tools or any manual downloads. So everything is happening in one place. Now you have seen how to use Microsoft Fabric. Even if you are a complete beginner, it will be very much helpful. In the next video, we will create our first lake house and upload our first dataset into Microsoft Fabric so that you will get hands on experience step by step. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your team, and subscribe for more tutorials every week on. Microsoft Fabric and Power BI. See you in the next video.